Hello, everybody. You ran out of gas? You better call for help. We're here today. Uh, I'm back. I'm back from Tennessee. Uh, and I thought I would celebrate uh, in fashion here with some other half cheddar broccoli, which does not sound appealing for the name of a beer. Let me just throw that out there right now. I love cheddar. I love broccoli. Uh, I understand that's probably because of the color, uh, but that kind of sounds nasty for a beer name. I'm just, uh, I'm, let's put that steak in the ground. Uh, it's a 7.9% Imperial Indian Pale Ale, double dry hopped. So lots of hopping. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with dry hopping, when you brew beer, when you brew beer, uh, you add hops to the boil kettle. Um, dry hopping is when the the whole brew day is done and the beer is fermenting. Uh, during some period of time thereafter, or during fermentation for these hazy IPAs sometimes, you dump a bunch of hops into the uh, fermentation chamber while it's fermenting. So it's after the boil. So a lot of beers are made just by hopping in the boil or right when the boil's done. Dry hopping happens for the couple weeks uh, that it sits after that. So, fun fact. Uh, let's see what this smells like. Ooh, smells good. Ridge, you wanna smell? Anybody? Anybody at all? <coughs> Woo, takes it right out of you. Oh, nope, not in there. Jack, you wanna smell? Ew, right in. I was jacked up. All right, Ridge, or Jack, you wanna smell? Smell good? Yeah. Okay. I think it smells very good as well. Um, so what's funny, uh, on this, I'm getting a lot of like a, if I closed my eyes and smelled this beer, I would think West Coast IPA. So probably heavy citra, uh, a lot of kind of pine and sappiness, but also this sticky honey. Um, I'm getting like Winnie the Pooh Bear right now. I feel like I'm smelling a honey pot. It smells good though. It's really pretty. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, that's nice. Well balanced, good hop flavor um, coming in. So the, oh, I heard it. So the, the flavor totally matches the aroma, and I love when beers do that. Sometimes it's fun to get thrown for a loop, you know, where you smell one thing, you taste it, and it's totally different. Uh, but in this case, smells great, tastes really nice. Mm. This is kind of a dangerous beer too, because at 8% or 7.9, uh, you would not suspect that when you drink this. No heat is being perceived at all. Uh, it's malty, but balanced. Yeah, wow. So another, uh, another good one from uh, Other Half. Very impressed. What are you doing, dude? All right, gotta go. Cheers.